In this particular episode, I would like to talk about how we can build one full stack wave application. And before I jump into code, I would like to show you some presentation about the same. And yes, so this video is uh, presented by CodeGigs and the design of the application will be, as we can see here, we will be having one front-end web application which will be built using react.js and the back-end would be built using node.js and it will be deployed inside aws now when we are using aws we will be particularly using these two services one would be api gateway which will be the receiving traffics from the web application and in order to compute anything based on the user request we would be using aws lambda functions now the steps before going into this would be like this we first would need to navigate to our current directory and we will be writing create react app and i as you can see here this is my current uh, directory i just want to say create react i'm sorry App. I have already installed create react app in my local now I just want to create a new project um, in order to create a new project in my local what I have to do is I would need to write in create react app and then I'd have to pass in the name of the project so the project that uh, I'll be creating would be react serverless and we'd have to wait for this new create project creation. It will take some time. So my create React app has created this new application. My React serverless project has been created. I'll just go inside this project quickly. Okay, so we can see that there are this many directories created, which is a basic standard React.js application directory structure. Now, the first thing that we need to see is what does our package JSON look like? In our package session, we have scripts in as in start script, build script, test, all has been created. For deploying the backend components, we would be using a certain framework uh, called the serverless framework. So let's talk about the different tools that we are going to need here. The first thing would be to use the create react app. And the second thing would be to use uh, install serverless in our local machine followed by configuring the serverless with serverless config commands and then uh, creating a service in, in our current directory using the serverless create command. 